Welcome back in, Trey Lowell here for Movo. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing what might be one of the most popular lights that you're gonna find on the internet, and that is the Old Faithful ring light. And specifically, Movo's VGC30 18 inch ring light kit is what we're gonna be putting to the test. We're also gonna be discussing how to use your smartphone with a ring light, some of the best practices, whether it be for photo or video, coming up next. So here we are rolling for the first time with the Movo ring light, the Movo VXR10 Pro shotgun microphone as our audio source going into that iPhone. As far as brightness goes, I wanna say we're roughly at about 50%. And as color temperature goes, we're a little bit cooler than we normally be just because I find it to be a little bit more flattering on the skin tones. Now here's what's going to be unique about this ring light. And one thing that you need to take in consideration when setting up your shot. One, you need to figure out what a brightness is gonna be that's gonna look the most flattering on your face. So as far as exposure goes, you don't wanna overexpose and get a lot of shininess on the face. And to do so, you might wanna take a look at what we have over here. And I'm set up a little bit further than arm's length distance in regards to where we're filming and our particular setup. I think that's gonna give you the best chance. And one thing it's going to do as well is make sure that that light is not too bright on the face. Now we are gonna have the ability to raise that brightness, which we'll go ahead and do. And as you can see, that is full brightness, which probably exposure wise, absolutely overexposed, but just giving you a sense of what it would look like at full brightness. So we'll go ahead and lower that back down. And then also we have temperature control and we'll go a little bit warmer and you'll probably see that I'm becoming a little bit more orange. And really what you're just gonna have to do is change around and goof around with the different temperatures and brightnesses to make sure that it works best for your particular scene. Now, one other thing we have to take in consideration are reflections. With ring lights, a lot of times, anything in your background will reflect like this TV. So let's make sure when you're framing up your shot that you make sure to take out all reflections. Okay, so for this portion, I wanna give you guys an example of what we can do with the ring light for photography. Now, currently we're actually recording audio with the wireless mini DI microphones going into our iPhone 8. Obviously we have the big boy camera here and behind us. And here in a second, we'll deactivate all the house lights and just go with just our ring light. And we'll do some photography here. I've just got a couple of goodies here that we're gonna take to kind of prop up the microphone. Also go ahead and get our phone into my photography mode. I'm gonna flip it upside down because I find it a little bit easier to take photos sometimes when it's upside down. And because the shot looks a little boring with nothing else in it, what we'll do is we're going to bring that and put it into the shot. We've also got that that we'll put in there. I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate the house lights here. And we've got our remote. And what we're gonna do with our phone and our remote here so I'm actually gonna turn the brightness down and I'm gonna cool this up a little bit. There we go, we wanna make it a little cooler. And then we're just gonna tell our camera we're going to lock the focus and the exposure right there. And photo number one, vertical. Also, we'll go ahead and lower it a little bit. So one thing we wanna do is get a couple of different perspectives here. So what we'll do is we'll lower our tripod stand and then also we have a little bit of a tilt here. We'll lock it right there. Readjust a couple of our little items here. And then once again, we're going to tap, lock our focus and exposure. And then bam, there we go. There we go. So one thing I like to do as well is go ahead and just get our ring light. And this time we're actually gonna remove our mount we're just gonna take our photos right through there. Try to make sure we're not getting any reflections in there. Boom. Movo. And take our photo. Voila. So that is an example of some of the photos and you guys are seeing them in real time that you're gonna be able to get using your ring light. Now specifically what we need to make sure to do is get our exposure correct lock in that focus, and then snap off your photos. 
So here we are for the final portion of how to use a ring light with your smartphone. Now currently we're rolling with the Movo MA5L. Now this is a direct connect microphone that connects to the bottom of the iPhone. I think this ring light, there's a couple of key things. You just need to make sure, one, you get exposure correctly and that you make sure you give yourself a little bit of distance between you and the light. Also, as far as temperature control goes, let's make sure we get the one that looks the most flattering on camera. Now that can take a couple of trial and errors, so it's best practice to do a little practice here and there before you go all in on filming yourself. Now overall, I think these lights do come in handy. There's huge features in regards to also, this Movo particular light offers USB power. So if you were gonna be live streaming or anything of that nature, you could plug in and roll with your smartphone. Also, as mentioned, we have that wireless remote that's always gonna come in handy as far as being able to adjust on the fly. But overall, I think these kind of lights come in really handy for those that are looking for a quick, easy option that is very suitable for their smartphones. So hey guys, it's Trey Lowell with Lowell Productions here for Movo. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like the content we keep creating here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next video. Movo, creators want it.